you see up in the corner the 1A match between Bruce Obrecht of Underwood and Vance Light of Lisbon, who could be the winningest wrestler in state in, in the state of Iowa history. And at double A, Terry Brands of Sheldon undefeated against Chad Zaputil undefeated from Centerville. And that's a horse match. That's that's a, they're really at it up there already. But we're at triple A, Tam Ho on the left with the big knee guard. He's against Gary Steffensmeyer, a most interesting, dangerous wrestler from Fort Madison. He's very dangerous. He loves to use the legs. You just don't want to be underneath him. You think you, you think you have Steffensmeyer sometimes, and you really don't. Poof, he's there with you on your back from a cradle or whatever. He's really worked hard this year trying to get better on his feet. You get him better on his feet and take that dangerous ride he has with his legs, and you've really got an outstanding wrestler in Gary Steffensmeyer. But Tam Ho, is one of a number of wrestlers that's shown particular heart in this state tournament because he came from not winning the district. Right. He qualified by placing second, but he's come all the way to the state finals. He just is just about to give up a takedown unless he can keep that arm in. He's hustling with the step across. He did a nice job. Right, he's a strong wrestler, and here we have a lot of lankiness and a lot of leverage versus a short, stocky, real strong. Clinton's Dan Knight will be up in the next match going for his fourth state title. That's next, after this one. Tam Ho on the right. He had a nosebleed. That's why they stopped just for a second. You can see the, the plug in the nose. He has a, a reach disadvantage, but certainly he's, a, he's strong. Very strong wrestler. They're at it again. Second period. They started this period on their feet. Nice duck under Woo! action there. A very nice takedown. A low duck, come around, cover the hips. Two points, Steffensmeyer. So it's now two nothing. Very cute. Now he's trying to put Hull on his back and he's doing it. A three point near fall. Boy he uses those legs. Look at the length of those legs really knows how to use them. Some people are tall and they don't know how to use their length. Stephen Meyer is a great example of knowing how to use what he has. Pickford on the left there. There's men that's meant a lot to wrestling in all ways. He spent a lot of years developing the program. He's one of the great examples of the dedicated coaches of the sport. Worked hard in freestyle. Stephen Meyer on top with the arm bar, going for a tilt again. Notice how he has control of the wrist and the arm, and that's why he sta how he's stabilizing it there. And he got another three-point near fall. Eight to nothing. And although Tam Ho of Boone held his own for a while on the feet, once he did lose that duck under takedown, he got himself in a real hot situation. And he's down eight to nothing. Well, in the Class A match, Vance Light is leading Bruce Obrecht nine to two in the third period with only 45 seconds left. And in the double-A match, Terry Brands, who's going for his third title, is trailing Chad two, Zapitil of uh, three, Centerville two to one. Go, Another five. long exposure to the mat by Steffensmeyer of Pam Ho's shoulders, and the lead now goes to 11-0. at the end of the second period. Steve Paris would like to be able to come up with the, what it's going to take to put Mr. Steffensmeyer on the back, but that's what it's going to take, I think. 11-0 lead to overcome for Ho. Well, we've really got an interesting one in that double-A match between Brands And Zapatil, it's two to two, 30 seconds left. Zapatil's in on a single there. It's going to be an exciting finish down there. Steffensmeyer controlling very easily on top as they go in this second period. He's a leading by 11-0, and he has again an exposure of the back. 
This was two. enough for two. It's 13 nothing. Another two point near fall is all Steffensmeyer needs to end this match by technical fall. Time left. Yeah, we're not going anywhere. Make. Looks like we're going to go to overtime in that other match at Double A. So we may get a ch chance to look at that Here yet. We go. That's Tam Ho trailing by 13. He had a good first period, but got taken down and he's been tilted one, two, three, four times since. Steffensmeyer. There he goes he, for he, it again. This should, this may very well end it if you keep it. He, he, he wasn't able to do it. Now. One. No. Needs to hold him for a count of One. two. One. Two. That's it. Two. That'll end it. A technical fall for Gary Steffensmeyer of Fort Madison over Tam Ho of Boone. And an undefeated season, a victory for Gary Steffensmeyer. Big hand, gentlemen. Your best. Good match, Tom. I'm not so sure if that's Fort Madison's first two-time state champion. I could be wrong, but he certainly capped off a brilliant career. Outstanding career for Steffensmeyer. Once he got in the middle, he made it look easy. Now we're going to go to overtime. We're in the first of the three one-minute overtime periods between Brands and Zaputil. Brands of Sheldon, who is on the in the black uniform, is going. Is he's 32 and zero? And Chad Zaputil of Centerville, who is in the light uniform, is also 32 and zero. And they haven't settled a thing yet. 33 seconds to go here in the double-A match. Well, I've been watching out of the corner of my eye, and Zapatil really put a lot of pressure on early, but the pressure came from Brands at the end, and he was able to draw a stall stalling call, again, taking it into overtime. The regular match ended 2-2. Two to two. There was an early takedown by Zapatil, an escape by Brands, and a stalling call. You might see two officials. You see a, the official out in the mat there, is Bill Garner, and another official just to see his legs at the top of the mat, and they help each other out. No score in the first period, so we go to the second period. They're gonna start on the feet. That's where Zappi still wants to be. It was 2-2 in regular time. The only takedown was scored by Zaputil very early in the match. That's out of bounds. No, no score. Some of these weights are so packed with good wrestlers, and we, we talk about it, this double-A division is well-matched from top to bottom. You can't just walk out there and walk through somebody. Beautiful switch around, a, a spin around by Zach Yatil. He leads Brand by two to nothing in the second period with only eight seconds left. He really played off of Brand. Getting him in bad position, snapping him down and spinning real fast for the two. Nice reaction by Zappico. The Centerville young man. Looks very, very tough. And he's trying to prevent a three-time state record, three-time championship record by Terry Brands. Now he has to ride in the third period to protect it. Brands 
turns in. Right. Uh, Zapata wasn't able to stay behind the arms right there. So it's two to one. With how much time? 35 seconds. Franz could win if he got a takedown. So he far, there he goes, the snap. So far, it's the same match as in the regular regular part. Two for a takedown for Zapata. One for an escape for Franz. 25 seconds left. You notice how Zapato's working the head. That's been successful for him. He's working the head, trying to snap down. Out of bounds with 18 seconds. And I believe he got a stall warning. We did from uh, referee Bill Garner. Repeat again, just a little shorter. Nothing there, seven seconds to go. Championships. It, it wasn't too so. many for Zapatil to allow. Chad Zapatil of Centerville wins his 33rd straight match and inflicts the first defeat this year on Terry Brands of Sheldon in overtime. Said Brett Mays. That's the unhappy. Loser at uh, 119 pounds, Terry Brand. Family has another gold medal. You remember that Shane won one for Lisbon at 98 pounds, and now brother Vance added one. Vance is a senior, 18-year-old senior from Lisbon. He decisions 11-3, Bruce Obrecht of Underwood. Actually, uh, Light led this match all the way. It was 7-2 after two periods. He added another couple of takedowns in the third period and went on to win 11-3. So, Vance Light is the champion at 119 pounds. Doug? And that is another of... Here are the champions at 119 pounds now at the other place, end of the arena in Class A, first of all. Fifth place, Jansen Carlson, Mapleton, Maple Valley. Fourth place, Lynn Silver, Ackley, Ackley, Geneva. Third place, Tom Hogan, Gilbertville, Don Bosco. Runner-up, Bruce Obrecht, Underwood. And in winning the 119-pound championship, fans, this gentleman has established a new Iowa high school record for career victories with his 131st victory, Vance Light of Lisbon. Let's recognize this special achievement. In the history of the sport in the state of Iowa, nobody's won more. Coach Mike Halupnik of Centerville. Sixth place, Sean Sweeney Osage. Fifth place, Scott Hassel, Spirit Lake. Fourth place, Brad Gazaway, Eagle Grove. Third place, Randy Vogel, Comanche. Runner-up, Terry Brands, Sheldon. And the Class 2A 119-pound champion from Centerville, Chad Zapato. The happy winner. You can always tell the matches that have just been run. The unhappiest looking person is always the person on the second step who just lost. Sixth place, Eldridge Brantley, Clinton. Fifth place, Tom Rose, Keokuk. Fourth place, Joel Scarborough, Waterloo, Columbus. Third place, Brad Brule, Fort Dodge. Runner up, Tam Ho, Boone. And the Class 3A 119-pound champion from Fort Madison, Gary Steffensmeyer. He had an impressive victory tonight. Let's go for a floor report to Dick Trotter. At the 